He was the artist behind some of the most daring puppet animations of all time, and his art continues to inspire filmmakers today. Are we talking about Walt Disney? Welcome. Actually, no. Meet Władysław Starewicz, one of the most underappreciated figures in film history. Władysław Starewicz was born in 1882 in Moscow, but he went on to spend most of his childhood and adolescence at his grandparents' house in Kaunas. It all began when he was just a schoolboy. He enjoyed drawing little figures in the margins of his books. He discovered that by flipping the pages quickly, he could animate the figures so that they moved as if they were alive. But his greatest passion was entomology. This is Katarzyna Monka Malatinska, an expert on the history of animation. Pierwszy swój film zrobił w 1910 roku, mieszkając jeszcze w Kownie. I właściwie ten film sprawił, że z czasem znalazł się w Rosji i tam zaczął realizować, w Moskwie i tam zaczął realizować swoje filmy. To była walka żuków jelonków. In June 1910, Starewicz tried to capture a stag beetle fight on film, but he realized that the beetles would stop moving whenever the light went on. He decided to separate their legs and horns from their bodies and use thin pieces of wire to put them in place. He then filmed them using the stop motion technique. Thus, he created what came to be the first puppet animation in film history. By using the same technique and adding elaborate plot lines, Starevich shot several other films starring insects, such as The Beautiful Lucanida in 1912 and The Revenge of the Cameraman. The films were so realistic that some viewers actually believed the bugs were trained and taught to act. This earned Starevich the moniker of the bug trainer. After the Bolshevik Revolution, Starevich moved to France where he continued his work in stop-motion animation. There he was able to develop his unique style with bits of surrealism and the macabre. Starewicz pracował zupełnie właściwie samodzielnie, nie, nie tylko pisał scenariusze i reżyserował swoje filmy, przygotowywał wszystkie projekty i wykonywał lalki. To, co go charakteryzowało jako animatora, to niezwykła szczegółowość w oddawaniu właśnie tych cech anatomicznych owadów, a również w niektórych filmach ludzi. Starewicz's animations included elaborate puppets, complex character movements, detailed sets, intricate props, unique framing choices and lots of colors. But the technique was extremely time-consuming and expensive, especially as Starevich insisted on doing everything himself. He was the animator, screenwriter, decorator and puppeteer for all of his films. Despite offers from Hollywood, he refused to industrialize the production process and continued to work on his own. Today, a hundred years on, Starevich's films still stand out and capture the imaginations of viewers and other artists. Many, such as Terry Gilliam, the Quay brothers and Wes Anderson, openly acknowledge his influence and continue to draw inspiration from the work of The Bug Trainer. <laughs> 